I'm probably like the poster child for the woman who should be the most frazzled woman in the world. <laughs> uh, I, I've gone through a lot. I've had my emotions have gone through the ringer, starting with my daughter when she was 18 months old being thrown out of a car during a violent car crash and then spending a year in coma, having the doctors tell us that she would never wake up, and then having her finally wake up when we put her newborn baby brother in her arms mm. for the first time, and then having a life of... Uh, severe dis, uh, disability, but yet extreme peace and joy, and then losing her five years ago. So I've had a lot of emotions in my life, but what I've learned, Bob, is that you can invite the presence of the Lord, the presence of the Holy Spirit into these emotions, and you can give him the burden and the pain of the things that you're going through. That's how I survived and even thrived starting AWSA, the Advanced Writers and Speakers Association, uh, during these years of turmoil. Mm. And we, we talk about emotions and mm -hmm. we recognize that God wants to bring every area under the control, under the surrender of the Holy Spirit. Now, if we place too much emphasis on our emotions without the proper focus on God, well, things can kind of get out of balance, if you will, or out of God's intended order for us. So how do you see that we can bring our emotions in check, if you will, not to totally, obviously God doesn't want us to, to just bury our emotions or deny our emotions. He has created us as emotional beings, but he does desire for our emotions to be brought under the Lordship of Christ. So how do we do that? Well, there's no, a number one way that I would recommend is to shift your focus from your problems, from your heartache to Jesus. Hmm. Because when you can quit staring at the turmoil of your life and look into the loving face of the Savior and say to him, I'm going to trust you no matter what. That's when you are going to start to experience the peace that passes understanding. And it's really something you can practice. It's something you can do no matter what you're going through. And I've been through extreme things, and I can tell you that God's peace can be there no matter what. Mm. And when we talk about God's peace, I know anxiety is an emotion that a number of people have experienced over the past couple of years. There have been a number of books that have been written about it. I'm sure that there are a number of sermons that have been preached about anxiety. I've had a number of guests on my program talking about anxiety. Mm -hmm. That is an emotion that we know that Jesus warns against. So as we, we think about emotions, that I guess you could describe them as bad emotions, such as anxiety or fear or worry. Of course, all of these are, are kind of, they're kind of relatives of one another in the, in the families of emotions in our hearts. But when you think about anxiety, worry, how do we, how do we pray in those areas? Well, I'm glad you asked that. In fact, I'm going to share with you a prayer that I wrote called Anxious. Mm. And in this particular prayer, what I did, and what I did in every prayer, there's over 70 prayers in this book, Praying Through Every Emotion. What I did is a Bible study on every emotion. And I was shocked to find how much of the Word talks about our emotions. And so what I did then is I found the scriptures. And for example, we'll take a look at one scripture sure. that I found. Uh, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, turn all your anxieties over to God because he cares for you. And that's one I found. I found more. And then I took the scripture that I found and I paraphrased it back into a prayer. So now people, when you turn to, it's all in alphabetical order, you turn the, to the anxious prayer. Now you can pray scripture back to God. So number one, you're praying in God's will because it's the word. Mm -hmm. Number two, you're praying in the spirit because the word has the power of the spirit in it. And number three, you're going to feel a transformation. You're going to feel a release as you pray.